review, 2015 Volkswagen Beetle What's new for 2015 for the 2015 Volkswagen Beetle? The optional 2.0 litre diesel engine gets 10 additional horsepower, yet also delivers a slight increase in fuel economy. A new trim level called the Beetle Classic enters the lineup, and all but the base Beetle now comes standard with a rear view camera late availability. Introduction The 2015 Volkswagen Beetle is as retro as they come. Park this modern Beetle next to its classic 1960s relative and you'll see plenty of styling cues that have carried over. But the appeal isn't merely superficial, when this bubbly Volkswagen is done reminding you of all things flower power, turns out Thea's a pretty good car underneath. One impressive aspect of the 2015 Volkswagen Beetle is under the hood. Freshly updated this year, the available turbocharged four-cylinder diesel engine gets an additional 10 horsepower and a bump in fuel economy to an impressively frugal 34 miles per gallon in combined driving, according to the EPA. If diesel isn't for you, the standard 1.8-litre turbocharged engine offers a good combination of economy and power, while the B-rated line gets a 2.0-litre engine that has even more punch. The interior of the Beetle also earns points. Take a seat inside and you'll find a stylish design that rises above common economy car standards, yet still is blessed with straightforward controls and high-quality materials. Alas! The 2015 VW Beetle isn't without some issues. Visibility through the small rear window of the coupe is limited and the convertible has blocked views with the top up or folded down. In both cases, we recommend opting for the newly available rear view camera. The camera is a late availability option, though, so depending on when your Beetle was built, it may not have won. Depending on your priorities, you might also be disappointed in the way the Beetle drives. While its engines are strong, it's not a particularly rewarding car to drive around turns, as neither the steering nor the brakes instill much confidence for spirited driving. A more sporting choice would be the 2015 Mini Cooper. It has loads of personality and is fun to drive, but, like the Beetle, can end up being rather expensive. A more practical, if less exciting choice, would be Volkswagen's own Golf hatchback, which further benefits from a well-executed redesign this year. While it isn't available as a convertible, the 2015 Kia Forte Coupe, with peppy engine options, generous standard features and affordable price, is another one of our favorites. Finally, the 2015 Fiat 500 is another respectable choice particularly if you want an everyday car that's extremely compact and easy to park. Overall, though, the Beetle presents a pretty appealing mix of fun and practicality. And we're pretty sure that's something people of all generations can appreciate. Body styles, trim levels, and options The 2015 Volkswagen Beetle is a four-passenger, two-door hatchback available in coupe and convertible body styles with three basic trim levels that correspond to the available engines, 1.8T, Align and TDI. The Beetle 1.8T comes standard with 17-inch alloy wheels, heated windshield washer nozzles, heated mirrors, full power accessories, automatic air conditioning, cruise control, a leather-wrapped tilt tantless coping steering wheel heated and height adjustable front seats, leatherette premium vinyl upholstery, Bluetooth phone and audio connectivity and an 8-speaker sound system with a CD player, an iPod interface and an auxiliary audio jack. Also standard is VW's Carnet Telematics system. The 1.8T Classic gets unique upholstery, lumbar adjustment for the front seats, a touchscreen audio interface, satellite radio and a navigation system. The sunroof package called the technology package on the convertible incorporates the standard 1.8T equipment plus a panoramic sunroof, a rear view camera late availability, keyless ignition and entry, satellite radio and a touchscreen audio interface. 
the sunroof, sound and navigation package just sound enough on the convertible includes the above plus 18 inch wheels, a navigation system and a 9 speaker fender audio system. The Beetle line adds the following to the Beetle 1.8 TS equipment, a more powerful engine, 18 inch wheels, fog lights, a rear spoiler, a sport tuned suspension, sport seats, unique cloth upholstery, a performance gauge package, for carbon fiber accents and alloy pedals. The Reliant sunroof and sound package align with sound on the convertible adds the same items as the 1.8 TS sunroof package along with the Fender audio system. The Reliant sunroof, sound and navigation system align with sound enough for the convertible adds 19 inch wheels, Bixen and headlights, LED running lights, leather upholstery and a navigation system to the above package. The Beetle TDI includes the 1.8 TS standard equipment along with chrome exterior accents, keyless ignition and entry, do also an automatic climate control, satellite radio, a touch screen audio interface and a performance gauge package. As an option, it also offers the optional sunroof, sound and navigation package. Powertrains and performance The standard engine for the front-wheel drive 2015 VW Beetle is a 1.8-litre turbocharged four-cylinder 1.8T that produces 170 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque. The 1.8T is paired with a five-speed manual transmission on the Cooper's standard, and a six-speed automatic transmission is optional. The 1.8T convertible comes only with the automatic. For the coupe, a estimated fuel economy with the 1.8T stands at 28 miles per gallon combined 25 city 33 highway paired to the automatic on 27 miles per gallon combined 2433 with a 5 speed manual. Opt for the convertible where you can only get the 1.8T with an automatic transmission and you'll get 27 miles per gallon combined 2432 as well. During performance testing, a convertible Beetle 1.8T accelerated from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 7.6 seconds, which is a good time for the segment. The Beetle Reliant gets a turbocharged 2.0-litre four-cylinder that produces 210 horsepower and 207 lbft of torque. A six-speed manual transmission is standard and a six-speed automated manual known as DSG is optional. Fuel economy for the coupe is an APA estimated 26 miles per gallon combined with either transmission. For the Reliant convertible. The manual transmission also returns 26 miles per gallon combined 2331, while the automatic transmission drops estimates to 25 miles per gallon combined 2329. Under the hood of the Beetle TDI is a turbocharged 2.0-litre diesel four-cylinder with 150 horsepower and 236 lbft of torque. As with the Reliant. Buyers can choose between a 6-speed manual and a 6-speed DSG. Regardless of transmission choice, fuel economy estimates stand at an impressive 34 miles per gallon combined 3,141 for the coupe and the convertible. Safety Every 2015 Volkswagen Beetle comes standard with traction and stability control, anti-lock disc brakes, front side airbags side curtain airbags and Volkswagen's Carnet telematic system. Carnet bundles crash notification, roadside assistance, stolen vehicle location, remote door unlocking and geofencing which allows parents to set boundaries for teenage drivers. In government crash tests, the Beetle Coupe received 5 out of 5 stars for overall crash protection with four stars awarded for total frontal protection and five stars for total side impact protection. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety X gave the coupe its top good rating in its moderately overlap frontal offset, side impact and roof strength tests.
In S's small overlap frontal offset test, the Beatles scored a rating of marginal, the second lowest rating. The seat and head restraints were rated good for whiplash protection in rear and impacts. During testing, a convertible Beetle 1.8T came to a stop from 60 miles per hour in 124 feet, which is about average for the segment. Interior design and special features The 2015 VW Beetle gets plenty of inspiration from the original Flower Power model, but it still includes the same features, controls and construction as other modern Volkswagens. This translates to a pretty classy passenger environment. The trim that runs across the dash and doors can be colored to the exterior just as in old bugs, while the line gets secondary dashed up gauges and available two-tone seats. The optional navigation system is easy to use, though its small screen limits usefulness. The premium Fender sound system, on the other hand, is well worth the extra cost and provides impressive sound quality. Despite its seemingly low roof line, the Beetle still provides plenty of room for tall drivers, and most people will find the front seats pretty comfortable. The rear seat also has a lot of headroom. Legroom in back is fairly tight, but it's still a little more than what you get from most rivals. The Beetle Cooper's 15.4 cubic feet of cargo space in the trunk, though the convertible cuts maximum cargo capacity to just 7.1 cubic feet. That is around 12 cubic feet more than the Fiat 500 convertible or the Mini Cooper convertible, but loading luggage or other items can be difficult because of the Beetle convertible's awkward, upright trunk opening. Fold the rear seats flat in the Beetle Coupe and you'll have about 30 cubic feet of cargo space to work with. For the convertible, the power soft top folds down in about 10 seconds and it can be operated at speeds up to 31 miles per hour problematically, though, when the top is folded down, it sits on top of the rear deck lid and rear visibility is limited. Driving impressions were fond of all three of the available engines in the 2015 Volkswagen Beetle. The turbocharged 1.8-litre engine is smooth, powerful and provides respectable fuel economy. The more powerful engine in the Beetle line has even more punch and sounds great. Like other Volkswagen diesel models, the Beetle TDI provides plenty of low-speed shove and very good fuel economy. The six-speed manual is quite possibly the most easily shifted dial to self-transmission around, while the line on TDI's sophisticated DSG gearbox is a nice compromise for those who want the convenience of an automatic with much of the performance and control of a manual. That said, the DSG's responses can be frustratingly slow when accelerating from a stop or in slow-moving traffic. The Beetle's handling is respectably adept. Though the car's overall abilities and steering response are well short of what you get from a Fiat 500 Abarth or Mini Cooper S when just cruising on city streets or on the highway, however, the Beetle is pretty comfortable. Even the lean's sport suspension shrugs off bumps and ruts in the road. You'll notice the road's imperfections, but there's no harshness to speak of, while road noise is noticeable but not intrusive. All things considered, the Beetle is a pleasing long-distance road trip companion.